Hey guys, it's Jim Welsh from Environment One. So today we're gonna cover how to upgrade a panel from whatever version of modem you're running on CenturyAdvisor 1.0 to a modem that's capable of touching the 2.0 network, our, our enhanced CenturyAdvisor uh, system. So before we really go into it, the instructions that I'm gonna cover with you today are actually all covered in Grindergram number 166. So if you're a distributor and you don't have this yet, uh, please hop on Distributor Connection. If you don't have a Distributor Connection login, uh, email the factory and we'll get you set up. For any service provider in the field, uh, municipality or anybody doing maintenance on a Central Advisor related system performing these upgrades, uh, contact your distributor and they'll send you this grind and gram over. So one of the things you're going to notice about this panel, and this is a quick shameless plug for uh, E1 Engineering, you'll notice a little piece of plastic dangling on the front. This is our new dead front lanyard. It's pretty convenient, tip it up. And now we've got the dead front up and out of our way so we can do work without needing to worry about cramming a screwdriver in or using our heads to balance the dead front above us. So when you look inside of this box, uh, this is kind of where we're going to begin with deciding which retrofit kits we're going to need in order to upgrade the advisor from Century Advisor 1.0 to Century Advisor 2.0. So this one's actually going to be pretty straightforward. The little sticker is uh, as a dead giveaway. The sticker is HDG verified. So we haven't really done that for quite some time. This is a 1.0 device and we disconnect it from the piece of dual lock and we can tip it to the front and we see Infora on here. The Infora on the sticker, uh, that's a pretty telltale sign that this is a Novatel device. So this is our oldest style of modem. Uh, the modem itself has a different number of pins for the cable to connect to the actual device. This is a 22 pin connector. The current version of modem that we're using Again, it looks slightly different, but to the layman, you could probably confuse these fairly easily. This actually has a 20-pin connector at the top. So this is the big reason we're doing this video is because we have uh, little adapter cables that are going to make it really convenient for you guys to keep your existing advisor cable, install a tiny little adapter, minimize the amount of work you have to do in the field. So again, the first thing we'll do is just point out that this is a 3G Novatel device. It's a 22-pin connector, and we're going to need the adapter cable in order to take the existing cable end and make it compatible with the current version device. This 3G Novatel device is slated to be uh, removed from the Verizon network by the end of 2020, so December 31st, 2020. Uh, there's been different product releases from Environment One that kind of cover the sunsetting of the 3G network. Uh, so if you need more information on that again, contact your distributor. Distributors hop on to Distributor Connection and check out uh, the site for information there. Uh, otherwise, just call us up and ask us questions and we'll do our best to answer them for you. So now we're going to take this device and we're going to prepare to upgrade it to the 2.0, the, the new style 4G, uh, be it Verizon, be it uh, AT&T, doesn't matter. It's the same Cavalamp 4G device. So for that, we got it here, the 4G Cavalamp, and we have our adapter cable. So the first piece, so we're going to ignore this for now. We're going to come back to it here in a minute. But the first thing we're going to do is install our adapter cable. And it's pretty straightforward. You just plug it in. Once the adapter cable is plugged in, you're going to want to move the dual lock that was on the back of the existing device. Put it on your new device. And just in case it doesn't have any stickiness left to it or if you damage it while removing it, carry a little bit extra with you. And, and honestly, it's not the end of the world to leave it dangling inside of the panel. So we've got the adapter cable installed and now It is directional. There's a little nub on the back of the actual M, uh, modem itself that's going to line up with the clip on the cable end. So you plug it in, and now this device is fully accepted by the existing panel cable. So again, dual lock, stick it back up to where it's at. Once we get it uh, ad ad adhered to the proper part of the panel box, now we can move on to the data cable. So the data cable, and I'm going to apologize up front, this panel actually isn't configured for data, even though it is a Protect Plus and it's data capable. There is a data cable adapter that generally plugs right into the circuit board. Uh, we don't have that connection on this board, so I apologize. But we're going to do the same thing. We don't want to have to replace the entire cable for this. So what we're going to do is disconnect the actual data cable piece. And again, a second transition cable or adapter cable. This adapter cable, again, it's going to be the exact mate of what's currently there. Plug it in, tighten the screws down, and then now we can plug this directly into the circuit board. 
and start our tests. So the most important thing about what we're doing here after we get the 2.0 capable hardware installed, uh, if we're transitioning from one to two, we'll need to make sure that the account's created properly, the site's created properly, and the modem has been moved. And once all of that is done, now we wanna actually make sure we're getting signals coming out of the panel, that the pump is creating an event and the event is being captured on a Sentry Advisor interface. The three general things that we're gonna ask you guys to do are the same things that you're gonna do in a startup. We're gonna simulate a power loss, a high level alarm, and run cycles. When you do that, you're gonna log into Sentry Advisor 2.0 and from there, navigate to the account, to the site that you've created, click on the site, and you should be able to watch those events happen and come through real time. There is another video that we've actually already done for you, and we're, we're in pre-production release right now, so stay tuned for it, that's gonna cover the full 2.0 navigational tutorial. It's gonna walk you through how to create your accounts, create your sites, your groups, your notification structure, um, the whole shoot and match kind of all rolled into an hour long video. Uh, so jump on that and that'll walk you through how to get the, the, the basic hierarchical information created. And this little five minute video hopefully was enough to show you guys how simple it is to remove hardware and use our adapter cables and install the new 2.0 capable device. Uh, please stay tuned for more content from us. Uh, catch us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, all that fun stuff. And uh, thank you guys for, for tuning in, appreciate it.